Yo, what's going on everyone? This is One Doctor Genius and welcome back to another Prodigy video. So as you can see, I just logged on to Prodigy and we see this has their homepage, right? Let's just look at it for a second. Well, what we notice is that there are many house, what looks like tower houses. There are some trees in the background and this guy's friends, I guess, right? So you might be wondering, well, what is this? Well, this is a new island, I guess you could call it, which has been added to Prodigy. It's called Tower Town. So let's sign in and get a closer look at it. Well, if you log on to this, there might be one thing. You're like, click on the mailbox. There's nothing there, okay? So then maybe you're like, I check my... Maybe you're like, I check my status first. If you do that, you see this. Tower Town's in trouble. The Puppet Master has destroyed Tower Town. Floatings need help, right? So that's our notification. So now what we see is this news. It's over here, right? So if you click go now, it'll transport you straight there. Much better with the towers gone. The pesky luminous trees have nowhere to grow. Now I can turn the pets of this island to my side. Why do I always say my plans out loud? Good question. You should learn, Puppet Master. Okay, so he just walks away, leaving this place unguarded for some reason. Right? Yeah. So now this is Swoopy. He says, thank goodness I'm here. We They need their towers rebuilt so that the floatings can have a place to grow the trees which can and carry on their studies. And yeah, so let's click on it. Let's build this first. You need to cast spells to start, so let's give it a try. Build. It'll ask us a question. 13. Yeah, so we just got 13. Prodigy does it itself. This gives us five. Okay. But here's the thing. When you build it outside of the tutorial mode, it gives you... um. It gives you 10 blocks at a time, and we get 5 more, so now it's built. All done, Good. looks great, right? Look at the floaties, they are returning too! The number and type of floaties that appear change based on the floor which you build. So basically it changes based on the type that what you build. Maybe it's this or a different one. That's all there is to the basis of building. We gather knowledge from our travels and would share it with everyone through the luminous tree top of the towers here. This weakened the puppet master's magic, shadow magic, so that's why he got rid of it. Let's get to work building it back up, okay. Okay. So we just got six new floors, zero blocks placed, Zero shrouds cleared. What are these shrouds? That's going to be interesting to find out. So we get a bunch of item frames and then we get a bunch of hall rooms, right? So why on the top? Okay. This is very interesting. I only have one tower. So right, we want to build this just for it. And now you guys see that 10 blocks will appear after we answer it in these types of towers. 3 and 10. Boom, it's built. And now what we'll notice is that these guys, they start coming down. Ooh, see, they're coming down. And now we have one, two, three, four of them. Five, six. Wait, I'm gonna wait for all of them to come down. Right? So now we have is we have all five of them. So it tells us to click on the slingshot. Click and drag with the. Okay, it needs to land.
Now what you do is you guys can go shopping and once you have enough, you guys can click on the fireplace and you guys can buy it. So I have 140 and I can get the fire den, which has two lead researchers. So I'll just buy it. Click X. Okay, right. So let's do 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 do. Okay, so they need to rest for a day. So let's click on this and build and build this and see what happens. So it says three, boom. And here you go, once you've done it, what happens is, is that these blocks start getting placed down like this, boom. They're placed and we have it now. How many researchers will come? Okay, these guys are lead researchers. Okay, so as you guys can see, that went kind of okay. I got nine, so my aim isn't that bad. Okay, but guys, here's the thing. I think, I think you get these towers based on how many levels you have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe I have seven levels, so that's why they're giving me towers. But basically, this is what it is. It's actually pretty cool, and yeah. So now let me switch to my other accounts to show you a different type of thing. Because there is also this infinity tower. And in order to use the infinity tower, what you have to do is you have to receive an assignment for your teacher. Now, if you just play Prodigy at home and don't have a teacher assignment, well, what you can do is you can join one Dr. Genius's classroom where there will be assignments, okay? So let's just click X and show you what the assignments look like. Okay, so we're back into Prodigy. Let's click more roles. Head straight into Animalia again. And yeah, so now we get the permit that Infinity Tower is open. Let's go to the Infinity Tower. Click the Start Building button. And it looks like this will be infinite. This will be as big as Infinity, I guess. So let's click the Build button. Right, so now we click the Build button. It's a 60 children on 10 buses, so how many children per bus? I don't know why anyone would do that, why anyone would put six kids in one bus, but okay. Right, so we get one block. Seven times m minus five equals thirty. So what the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna do seven times m equals thirty plus five because operations get um uh, what do you call it? They get inverted. So if it's minus, it's plus, and if it's plus it's minus, multiply, divide, divide, multiply, okay? So now this equals 35. So then m times seven equals 35 by that. Okay, so let me get it back. Now to find m, what we do is m equals 35 by 7 and that is equivalent to 5 so m is equal to 5 and there you go that's and now we get one more so you keep on doing this till you reach the top right it says given from the following questions what is the value of a okay so f we have to solve this question first right you have to solve this question first so from this question, what it looks like is the value of h is going to be 5. Now 5 minus a equals 2, so a equals 3. Right, so we have this and we need to keep on building floors 
And once your assignment is done, you can ask your teacher to give you another one so you can keep on building. Well, technically, it's not an assignment. It's a plan. But yeah. So that's basically a mini update of what happened. And you guys can see all the possibilities on how this could look and everything. But yeah. So just look at this. Yep. Betty doodle. Let's just move this floor back to make this tree as big as it is. And yeah. So that's all. And guys, once I have encountered these hats and I have enough to build another level, I will um, just make another video and those ones. What is it called? That gastro thingy, which was in the other one. As soon as I find one of those, I'll start recording again and show you what it is. But in the meantime, this is the new update in Prodigy. It's pretty cool. Everyone should check this out. And yeah. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and give this video a big thumbs up. Keep watching and keep rocking. One Dr. Genius going to the Infinity Tower.